Today, on the first day of the Republican Convention, Eileen Cannon dismissed the DOJ's special investigation of former President Donald, I can't even say the name. This investigation was opened in 2022 and Jack Smith was appointed as special counsel. Um, she said that his appointment was not legitimate because it wasn't approved by the Senate. And so she dismissed it. Now she's been kind of a thorn in Jack Smith's side during this entire process. And I wanted to take a look at the impact on other um, investigations that are going on now and it's kind of the broader implications for the rule of law and accountability for high officials in our government. So I just want to take a quick look and let's, um, let's see how it goes this morning. Let me put this down so that you can see the cards. I'm using the Pulp Tarot cards today. The first thing I want to do is talk about uh, how is Jack Smith feeling about this ruling. I mean, it's not like he didn't see it coming after Clarence Thomas issued his little statement uh, last week, basically telling Eileen Cannon if she wanted to do this, it would be okay by him. So let's see how Jack Smith is feeling. Okay, first up we have the Four of Swords. Rest, recovery, contemplation. He's kind of just sitting back. He, he's prepared for this. He's disappointed. Rightfully so, anybody could tell you that. Um, but... I mean, he's he's very disappointed. He's been working on this a long time. Hoping it wouldn't happen, but thinking that it probably would. So he's going to step back for a minute while the convention goes on before he does anything, I think. Uh, he's going to get with his team. Here is the hermit, even though this says he's being alone. I think this means closing his ranks and... Um, getting with his team to decide what to do next. So I think that, <coughs> excuse me, I think that he has courage, um, he has patience, he's not giving up, but he's um, circling the wagons, I guess would be a way to say it. Next we have the Ten of Wands. He's got a lot of hard work to do to overcome this. 
it's his, he feels like it's his responsibility to do it. He took on the job and he wants to see it through, but it is not easy. She didn't make it easy all the way along. This just is another thing that he has to get through. Uh, he's not giving up. The Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is about luxury, financial gain, all that. It All it is showing is that I think this is Eileen Cannon. And she's, um, she's, she has made the decision to choose her judgeship, maybe a, a promise of a Supreme Court appointment from the Trump family, Trump organization, the Trump mob. Uh, the Heritage Foundation, whoever decides on that kind of thing, over justice. So she thinks she could do it, so she did it. She got the blessing of Clarence Thomas and probably some money or a promise of future. And But it's the Wheel of Fortune. This has gone down right now on the wheel but it's cyclical it's going to come back he's coming back strong he's not giving up and he's just it, this is just a temporary delay there will be justice let me um pull just a couple more cards on this and how he's feeling i'm i'm wondering what he's going to um, how exactly he's going to come back. Is he going to uh, challenge this ruling or is he going to refile in another jurisdiction? Which he can do because there were all, also documents in other areas than Mar-a-Lago. So he can refile this in another jurisdiction. Let's see if if that's kind of the path he will take or whether he will take her on. Okay. Oh, there's our judicial system. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's the Eight of Swords. Um, he's limited in what he can do. Uh, it may be that they will have to go back and have him confirmed through the Senate to um, be able to take continue this process. So it's gonna take some time. And right now he's limited. So um, he's, he, again, he's circling the wagons with his team to figure out what to do next. But you can see with the Six of Wands that there will be victory and success, recognition and achievement. He will be able to take this on to its conclusion and Donald Trump will be held accountable for the documents case. Well, that's really good to see. I'm gonna go into Eileen Cannon now. I wanna see how she's feeling. I'm, I'm interested in her decision-making and her thoughts and feelings on how she came to this conclusion or why and if she really believes in what um, that she's made a good judicial decision or if she's just been bought off
No, she really feels like she has been, um, she really feels like she's a good judge and has made a great decision. She feels like she's looked it over very carefully and, and come up with uh, the perfect solution. <laughs> at, at least by the looks of these cards. We'll, um, we'll go through them one by one. So the Ace of Wands. She looks as this inspiration and um, new beginnings. She's on the right path. People are praising her, and she is she is really the cat's meow. She's loving the attention, and she thinks that this boy, this was the right decision, and she got the okay by Clarence Thomas. It's like getting the, uh, you know, knighted or. Uh, They've given her the star, right? She is the star. Um, she has hope. She has inspiration, renewed. She feels great. She feels great. Um, the <laughs> Eight of Wands, the sp speed and swift and, and progressive. And she's got all these... Um, Things that she thinks are going for her. She is on top the cake. And uh, she's on the right path. This is how she's believing this. She's she's worked hard, she believes. She's worked hard to get where she is. This Eight of Pentacles is, is talking about her skills are being developed. She's... she's uh, new at this, but look what she did. She was able to save the ex-president from going to prison. She's she, she is so full of herself. I cannot believe this woman. The energy surrounding this, it just feels like she's so, so full of herself. Wow. And she really believes um, with this Ten of Cups, <laughs> she really believes that um, this is going to solve everything that we're that this we're all going to be one big happy family. She's in the in group. She's she has she's made it. She's uh done a strike. She's she has bowled a strike. Ten pins. She's knocked them all down. Wow, the energy around this is amazing. She is thinking that she is on top of the world. She's got everything going for her. Ooh, I can't even, I can't, I'm trying to tell you how it feels. It feels um, almost like my breath has been taken away because I am so excited about how I've, how wonderful I am, how, what a great, well, everybody is, is pumping me up and making me feel so wonderful. That's the energy here. Ooh, ooh, I have to get rid of this. This is really cringy. <laughs> Oh, whew, where's my sage? Okay, Eileen Cannon, she is loving this. Whew. Oh, well, that, <coughs> that, excuse me, I <coughs> need a glass of water. Whoo. So what is this going to mean long-term for the rule of law? What is going to happen here long-term for the rule of law or um, the justice system? This ruling.
Well, it's definitely a blow to the justice system. I, I think that it, we're heartbroken over it. You know, the, the country is heartbroken over this decision that we finally thought we were going to get justice for uh, hold Donald Trump accountable for his actions, and we're just um, heartbroken. Um, I see this page of wands, though there there is movement. Um, I think the movement will be here. The it's kind of with the wands, the, you know, there's going to be some actions taken. I think that there will be. Um, new legislation brought to the floor. I think the Senate can actually confirm Jack Smith uh, and get him back on the case. And they should do that. But I, I think uh, ultimately there will be a lot of loopholes that are closed in the next administration, which will be Biden, by the way. I think they're going to go through all of these. Maybe this is a good thing in that it's bringing to light all these little loopholes where before they'd been done by rules and by common agreement that this is kind of the way we do things. And I think a lot of those things will be codified from now on. I think they'll, uh, during the next administration, those things will get taken care of. Um, that there'll be new ideas, communication. People will be vigilant. They will, um, uh, they're going to go through these with a fine tooth comb and, and resolve some of these things. It's a victory right now for uh, Eileen Cannon, but it is not long live. Um, there she is. They're going to close the loophole on her. She might even get impeached. The Wheel of Fortune. She's on top of the world. Coming down. The Two of Pentacles is um, balance. They're going to balance the... Um, it's going to come back into balance. Okay. It's... It, she... She has dealt this blow, but in some ways it's a good thing because those things are now out in the open. Uh, they can be taken care of. It maybe was Justice Garland's. Um, of course, it always been done that way, you know. And so he just went ahead and appointed him because he didn't think that there'd be a challenge to that because that's the way it had always been done. But, um, you know, it'll make them be more vigilant on uh, crossing their T's and dotting their I's. And this will all come back into balance. Um, there'll be partnerships with Democrats and Republicans that want to close these loopholes. It's not just Democrats that want to do it. And the last thing is the Seven of Cups. And uh, let's not get caught up in wishful think thinking. Um, there are a lot of choices, a lot of things that they that can be done now. Let's just do what those are and um, wait until after the election when Biden's president to um, start taking a real look at the entire justice system and putting it uh, back to rights. So that's it. I just wanted to get some clarification on what was going on with this. I, I It's amazing the feeling I got doing Eileen Cannon's cards. It took my breath away. So this is, um, we'll probably be doing, be doing some more on this. 
but I just, um, I think uh, you need to take a deep breath, hold on. Jack Smith is not a dummy. He's he's going to be taking care of this. In fact, he probably has a plan already. He just uh, didn't know when the shoe was going to drop. So now he's getting with his group. He's putting things together and that wheel of fortune is going to turn. Eileen Cannon, it's going to turn on her too. She might be on top of the world right now, but she's not going to be in the future. So hang on there. Keep your spirits up. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.